Hi everyone, in today's video we are going to do our March succulent tour. And we are going to start with the aeoniums. Let's get started. <music> Now look at this color. They are just beautiful. I bought this on Mother's Day last year and I put all of them in one small plastic pot just to because they were small. They were just one flower and now they're all growing and I had to separate some of them like this one right here. I don't know the name of each aeonium, I just know they're beautiful. And there's one right there, see? They all look like pink witch to me. Some of them I took out, but because they're like getting so crowded. Look at that. And there's one right there. And there's my pink witch. Now, pink witch, I bought them separately. This one is part of that group but look at that i apologize because i don't know the name of each aeonium i just know that they are beautiful when they put them together you will know exactly the different color look at that love the red and look at that they're just beautiful see It's already raining. I had put this table here to put up all of my aeonium because they're in the back. I'm gonna show you later. And it, they're not getting water or uh, rain. They're not getting rained on because they have like uh, shelves right there. So I moved them. Now on the back right here is this big, huge pot. Look at that. And the kiwi I put them in the big pot and they just erupted and it's been raining so they're loving it so, and this one right here is the death bloom so I'm going to cut that and then the bottom of this one excuse my mess here because this is where I got all my um pots the aeonium see because they were inside there and they're not really getting rained so I moved them all and then but look at that maybe I need to clean this up look at it's another weed oh, oh, anyway it's hard so there can go there's some more right there when they're on top they're beautiful there's some more so in front of my greenhouse that's where I put all my aeoniums big small because aeoniums you can't control them they just go crazy once they want to when they decide they want to bloom they're just go crazy all over the place there let's check out what I have new things that I have here course look at that they are just so beautiful I look at them every day and it's just they might just be the same plant you know you have to repeat it's kind of like repeat and rinse on this plants but you know what it doesn't matter they're beautiful and let's go on the other side look at all these colors look at that beauty look they're all flowering and they're so stressed from the rain. It's been raining. I haven't watered these plants for like three, four months now. Since November, October. October, November, December, January, February. Yeah. There. And at the bottom of this is these. It's so beautiful right there. It's on the side my big pots facing the pool 
Crassula ovata and my mother plant of sedum adolfii. Oh, and look at this. That's crazy. Is that variegation? Hmm. <laughs> this is plastic. Madagascar palm. So many dead plants. I can't help it, but. Look at that beauty. Look at this purple delight. They are beautiful. I actually, what I did the other day, last week was I cut some of the, the leaves out. So it gives uh, more air, airflow. And then I have this little strawberry planter and I put succulents in them. And look at that. It's been raining. In fact, right now it's still raining, but it's not as bad. It's a variegated sedum right there. Beautiful. Vicks plant. And then look at this right here. See? Sedum clavatum. But what I've noticed is, look. So when they go like this, it's time to cut this and maybe replant them over here or just put them in a different pot. And this is the arrangement that I did the other two weeks ago and look at them, they're already growing. They're loving this. I think they love this weather. And the white aloe right here. And the corn cob, Mexican corn cob. It's beautiful. Sometimes they just go mature in, in the pot where you originally have them and you just don't want to repot them like this one. So this one, this is already rusted, but I don't know, for some reason I just could not. I did like fill them up for more plants, but I never did take them out. Same as this one. Look at the flowering rubritinctum. It's beautiful. I like their flowers, so I keep them for a while, and then I, I take them out. And then I cut them. Because I'm a point where, you know what, if they grow mealybugs, oh well. And my little angel, look at that. So beautiful. I do not know what happened to this one. But I think what I'm going to do is behead this one. I'm going to behead all these. This is ghosty. I'm, I'm, I'm not going to worry about ghosty because I have a lot of ghosty. But I will behead this one. I'll probably um, make a video when I behead this one. But I'll leave it for now. I am not sure what happened. I had another... Echeveria that I behead because of this So we'll see That's the only one though The rest are fine There's another ghosty right next to it It's not It's not having any issue They're so beautiful There's the I think there's a Francisco Baldi Right there And the Purposorum Let's turn this around Let's take this out it's not even there anymore. Let me see. It's Echeveria porpoisorum. You can't even see the name anymore. But look at, they have babies. 
they just become so tight that you just don't know where to start cutting them see those cuts right there those are they call it over water and i can't blame them when they get over water it's already too much rain the agavoides and this itch of area right here she's still hanging in there i mean it's too much rain already they're outdoors so mini bell a rubber tank tim and a variegated jade and look at that there is a variegated mini bell Oh my God, look at that, it's just blue, blooming. That is a, I'm not sure, I think that's a porpoisorum, but it's clustered. I'm, I'm scared that if they're clustered like that, they're gonna grow some millibugs on all the inside to a point maybe in the summer where I'm gonna have to pick this one by one or when this flower dies, I will probably put them in a bigger pot. I think that's the best thing to do, put them in a bigger pot. And then they'll be beautiful. They have more airflow because right now they're just tight right there. So I'm gonna start looking into putting that in a bigger pot. This one too. I already put this in a bigger pot, but it looks like this one, I just need to take this leaves out dead leaves like here and then it will be nice again on this other side right here this one is the one that we repotted because of the no hole but she's looking good and look at that it's just beautiful Look at this color. I know I have to tell you that I haven't watered them. I just come here and look at them, each one of them, and don't even, I, don't, I didn't even have to do anything because I'm scared they're so wet right now. The soil is so wet. But most of the time, like this, okay, like this one, it's time for me to take the bottom leaves out. So that's what I do. I just take the bottom leaves out so it will give me more. It will give them more to grow or repot them into a bigger pot. And this is not even the mother plant. The mother plant is, I don't know where, but that is beautiful. Okay, let's go down to the bottom. Oh, and this one, it, this is a Tupsy Turvy. And I don't know what happened to it, but what I did, I beheaded it. And then now, look, I think that's babies. Let's see what's gonna happen to that one. In the meantime, well, I, they give me, they giving me more babies in the bottom, look. I'll just take that out. So I'm hoping that these babies will actually grow healthier. And this one right here. And another Echeveria. Now remember this plant, Devil's Horn. This is the one that we brushed off because of the millibugs. They haven't come back. See, they're still good. I don't know what happened to that one, but this one, look. All my babies, I replanted them into this long, narrow pot and left them there. We'll see what's gonna happen, but I replanted them last week. Now let's move on to this yellow pot right here. This Echeveria is so beautiful. Look at that. I'm gonna need bigger pots. 
<laughs> Another one right there. So if I don't do prevention, I just come here and enjoy them. And this new tall planter that I got from Miss Estate Sale, I put a screen so I can put smaller pots and then I'm gonna start stacking them right there. I'm kind of scared. I Those babies that I have, I'm kind of scared for them because it's still raining. Like, look at this. I just cut this, but you know. Okay. This is the one I behead. Look, they already have plant. So sometimes it's better to behead the plant when you know you can't save them anymore. Like this um, ghosties right here. I know I can't save them anymore. They're just, I don't know. So I behead. When I behead, then I get more babies. And there you go. That's another rubber tinctum. Somebody gave me a, uh, in this one right here, an Echeveria. These two, the flowers, all the mealybugs and aphids they like to stay see there's already aphids right there i brush them off with a little bit of soap and water if they come off then it's good if they don't come off i'm gonna cut them and behead them and this one right here look i don't know the name of this but just giving me more babies right there And I just did some arrangement in this chair. It's just in this beautiful. I love this. The babies that I have, I replanted them. I just have so many of this Parawa Yancy. Because I have so many leaves. So I started taking the leaves off. And then it's about a year. And they become like that. Vicks plant. This one, I made this arrangement. I'm supposed to put this indoor, but... Hmm. I don't know. They're they're happy there. Another one right there. They're right there. Hmm. I have small babies here. They're outdoor. They're doing good. Hey, there's some more Paraguayensi. So there's some more babies here. I am planning to actually put them on the ground. I don't know. I'll, I'll come up with something. I found this narrow pot, and that's where I put all of them. But then I've got some more, so now I don't know. And look at this. That's. I need to put that somewhere. And somewhere in the bottom. I need to put those somewhere because I need those space. I'm running out of space here. And then this is the hair. Hera is, I'm not sure what's happening, but they said that when you have too much water, the leaves crack. So that's probably what's going on. And pretty soon I need to start take spring when it's not raining so much. I need to start cutting them off and then putting them in separate pots. So that's what I'm gonna do. And my Fred Ives is just blooming right there. I have baby right there. I have babies. I have another baby right there but that's just beautiful so many babies <laughs> some more and more this is the marinieri beautiful now it's time for me to take all these things out right here because She's done blooming, so I just have to clean her up. And look at this. A dolphy eye. And look, she's overflowing in that pot. 
it's time for me to repot but do i want to break the pot i don't know this one is already have i have not tried growing from seeds we'll see if it's gonna work and the dismithiana right there isn't she beautiful i want to show you the mother plant i can't stop she's too beautiful there that is the mother plant of my dismithiana she has given me a lot of pops already and down here is this plant i forgot the name but i've already taken out so many pops on this one too and in fact i'm about ready to see i think i replanted this in this dying but this one right here this one i'm gonna start taking them out and the worthy eye right here is so beautiful and a bear paw chocolate soldier that's a chocolate soldier Ionium lily pad. I have a lot. This one, and I have more right there in the H of area. <laughs> Rubber tinctum. Look at so beautiful with their flowers. Once they're established, all you need to do is just enjoy them, really. And look at that. baby necklace with an echeveria in between. I cannot take them off. I don't know how, but I, I, I didn't want to take them off. I think I need to take this out and replant them because it's already growing roots on the side. Sedum clavatum. I love sedum clavatum. And another dismithiana. She's the one that's going to grow big. <gasps> oh my god, this is going to die. Look, she's dead. She's dead. <gasps> oh my lord. You know what? That's it. Done. <gasps> So I am moving her into my warm space right here. I think she was too. Yeah. Something happened. What we can do is I'm going to cut it here and see if they're still going to grow. You know, I mean... That's the risk that you have to take, but she's, she's a beauty. We'll see. <laughs> I'm sad, but this is what I did with the other one that I had. See, they're growing babies. Oh, I, I'm looking at that because that one right there, I want to take her out, this one, and put them in a separate pot. I think we're just having too much rain. And my plants are saying enough rain, enough rain, but it's okay, you know. But right now, see this one? Oh my god, see that one? This is what happened when it's cold, too much rain. I have to clean that up. It's beauty right there. And there, you know, I was confident that there's not that many. I don't know that there are plants that are gonna die. There's succulents that cannot stand the cold. Oh well. And that's how you know your succulents. Like this one right here. Since she pretty. Not much. These are. This is the mother plant of the HIV area that was overgrowing on the other side. See? She's the mother plant. I'm going to save this by cutting here. And see if. See? They're already dead. 
This plant is not going to survive. It's hard to hold the camera in cup, but Lizzy, look. See, I'm gonna cut again here. Let me take the camera off. See, and that was beyond saving. But on the positive side, the echeveria that I behead, there's gro they're growing babies. See, so it's okay. I mean, plants die, you know. <laughs> oh, I'm sad about it, but <laughs> what am I gonna do? Nothing, nothing I can do. So, thank you very much. Thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to get alert for more videos. Bye now.